When I say my selfies are a radical act of love, I mean my Instagram is your guilty pleasure. Serving face is a gift, but I'm not about that hashtag no filter. To look this good, it takes a little extra work. And don't every child learn to work it from their mother. Cause my mother sure knows how to work it. Works at nine to five with Photoshop for a living. Perfecting every ma rat glamour shot until each duck face brims with plastic. At home, her cursor is a careful blade, reassembling every family photo. My mother tells me when I was young, I never smiled in collared shirts, despite how suave a man I looked. Each necktie strangling me alive, razor in hand. She sliced off each frown, pasted on a handsome grin. I'm a child when she guides me to her computer, teaches me this craft of transplant, says, it's so easy to undo the flaws, to color correct our skin lighter and splice the foreign from our bodies. And it's haunting to walk in your front door and every family portrait hanging on your wall is of strangers. Because my gender-fucked body has only ever been picture imperfect, I've never recognized a boy in photographs. I stared myself in mirrors and only saw where a scalpel's touch could improve. I loved my body only in the language of dissection. In Photoshop, I learned to rewrite my boyhood with long hair, a ruby mouth, slit eyes stretched wide, a real woman molded from the pages of magazines. If only transitioning this flesh were so simple. I think of Caitlyn Jenner, her Vanity Fair cover, and all those hungry eyes eager to spot the Photoshop. As if to say, silly boy, don't you know that real women don't have secrets tucked between their legs? The truth is, that body is all hers. Pinched waist, hollow cheeks, carved in all the right places. What I'd give to have her riches. Some blue eyes, an acceptable kind of feminine, I think. She looks no different from the real women who taught me and my mother to hate our skins. But I can't blame you, Caitlin. I know exactly what it is to hunger for real womanhood, to make bloody murder of my mother's good skin just so someone might call me beautiful. But when a man on the street clocks me, says, lady boy, why won't you love me long time, I think? If I'm not real, if I will never pass, then I must be fiction, must be a ghost caught on camera. And there's nothing scarier than a woman who refuses to die.